Welcome back, welcome back to my channel. It's the one and only Derry, and we're back for a get ready with me. Today. <laughs> Today is um, actually day three of my new job, and I'm doing some on-the-job training. So, I'm getting ready. Um, I'm actually running a little bit behind, so we're just going to get into it. We're going to start off um, with my brows, and this is the Dip Shape and Go from NYX. It is in um, the color, I think, okay, no. Hmm. I don't know what color, but it's not black. I always get like a dark brown or something like that. Uh, I don't, um, mm -mm. black is too dark on me. All right, so, let go. My left eyebrow just it does the most, but it's okay because in with this is number nine from Juvia's Place. I'm just gonna clean up my brows, take a little smile pencil, smile brush. There's a mirror up here, so. All right, so I've tried to like blend it out with the same smile brush. It doesn't always work for me. So I'm gonna take a bigger brush, not really a, a name, or at least I don't remember the name. I think I got these from Amazon because they're mermaid pencils. And then just blend it in and I can wipe the excess on my brow. Not really too concerned about the top blending. Because uh, you'll get all of the excess. Make sure you get it. Um, but you'll get all this excess when you do your foundation. Which is one of the reasons. See then, see how, how this one look? See? <sighs> but it's one of the reasons I prefer to do brows first because then I can clean up even more so with my um, foundation brush. I'm going to leave it like this. It is pretty boxy, but it's okay. Makeup Revolution. Um, oh no, this one goes on here. Mm -hmm. Number 14 from Makeup Revolution. And so I put it all around where I don't have concealer. 
for all of this all of this down here and then add it down to my nose and then i take this wide brush from Morphe and then I just move this in and then just blend now what I just remember it is my setting powder is in the car so i'm gonna have an incomplete face for a little while but it's okay oh my contour is in the car as well blush all of it all the powders are in the car okay so now let me go get that Be right back. All right, y'all. So we back. We back. We back. Um, I have to admit, it is very strange to have the ability to actually sit down and do my makeup. Like I've gotten to the point where I do my makeup in the car, which is why all of my makeup is in the car. Um, and also the lighting outside is really the lighting that you want. And so I'm looking at this inside, and I'm like, oh my gosh, like this does not match. Like I look great, but outside. Can't tell me nothing. Now, what I am excited and excuse, excuse the dirt, cause again, but I am going to use the Mary Kay. This is the light bronze uh, setting powder. And so I have been using Beauty Bakery setting powder, but today we're gonna try the Mary Kay powder on camera because I want to make sure that I'm generous with the setting powder and I don't want to get none on my dress. I'm going to get us a little towel, towel and then dust the excess I'm going to start my forehead. Put, put it up here. And I'm going to be very generous with this. Put it here. Now, already I can tell it is uh, I guess because it is a skin tone powder which is why I'm adding some more it can kind of settle into your skin and it will not it will not will not give that brightening that banana powder gives so what i should have done when i use a setting powder that is more flesh tone than banana i use a brighter uh concealer and so then that kind of tones down the concealer but still gives you that brightening when i use a concealer that's my skin tone and then you put a setting powder on top of it it doesn't always give what needs to be gay but we shall see so now i'm gonna go in with the high life from omo beauty listen don't sleep on it get you this palette it is my go-to palette now it has two highlighters a, a blush and then a bronzer a contour yeah contour so uh, I'm doing my gonna do my blush first, and I'll just put that sit it right there on my cheek. Sit it right there on my cheek. Go kind of under, under that. Um, I'm not using that highlighter today. Now, I have three different brushes that I typically use for um this contour thing. 
Okay, so I'm gonna start off with this more round brush that has like a tip, and I'm gonna go in. to create that illusion, that bone structure that we all wish we naturally have. And then make sure that I blend into the chin and the neck area to create that shadow Okay, and make sure we go back and tap, tap, tap. As you can see, I'm not, uh, I, I'm, I'm tapping. I'm tap, tap, tap to blend, tap, tap. And then circles on the cheek right here. Then I'm going to go in with this flat brush. I don't know, but I feel like this brush helps me to blend that contour into the other pieces okay now i forgot so let's go back into the mary k i forgot a spot very important even though i did not put concealer down here i always try to highlight and lighten this portion just to give your face that those dimensions and see how it falls right under, which is how I remember it. See how it falls right in between those two areas. And so it's going to give that bone structure that we all want. Ah. So let me go back into, um, now I'm gonna take this one and again, just really just making sure that this contour doesn't deepen and deaden my skin so that I look dark and ashy and you know just not what that is okay now this flower brush has been with me a very long time like the words are almost gone it's been with me so long I really need to find because I need to buy some new ones because this the flower brushes that I have like they are absolutely amazing and I just wish I know I got them from Walmart but of course, you know, can't find them anymore. So then just go in and dust off. Dust, dust, dust. That's really all you're doing. Dust, dust. Dust, dust, dust. Dust, dust. Dust, dust. At the same time, blending, making sure that everything falls in seamlessly. So you should see your blush here, you should see your contour, you should see the lightness from your setting powder. Blush, blush, blush. Okay, now I'm going to go in with, I decided the, uh, the top just broke, like literally. But this is the crayon, crayon case, high roll, highlighter, Water. the live glam club so i get makeup brushes every month and i'm so excited so i'm gonna go in wait before i do that this is the morphe sour patch setting spray spray that out over make it make sure you get it all over while i am waiting on that i am going to go back into my brows and just kind of take away the box at the top the sharp edge make it a little softer lighter make sure my my own brows you know follow the same pattern just kind of you know soften it up so it's not a complete box okay so now we're dry we're gonna go in and i just have this actually i think is an eyebrow pencil it's okay and i go right here right above the blush and right under the eye and just put highlight i am that person i really do like highlight so if we gonna do it we gonna do it big okay then i like it on the bridge of my nose 
and kind of fan it up just a little bit. Then just a small dollop, bam. Just a little touch right there. And then we're going to put some right on my lip. I used to put it on my chin, but I that's actually why I stopped putting it here. In my T-zone, when I get shiny, the highlight like turns into a look at me now type sign. Ah. So that's also why I brought my highlight up a little bit. And then put it up here instead of like actually on my nose, put it above my lip and then not on my chin so that when my face turns oily, it's not blink, blink, blink. So there we have that. Um, I really do like Crayon's Case Highlighter, High, high Honor Roll, I think is what this one is. Yeah, Honor Roll palette. Okay. Oh because I am actually going to go eat breakfast. I'm not going to put any uh, lipstick on. I'll come back once I put that on and give the finished and final look. Uh, I will wait as well to see how the um, Mary Kay setting powder looks outside of this light. But we can't go out in the world ashy because I'm finna go downstairs with the people. One last overall brush just to make sure all things are blended well. No harsh, even the highlight. You just kind of want to sparkle. You don't want to be the Las Vegas sign. You know, you just want a little sparkle, okay? But I am going to put on this Juvia's Place. It's glass. Lip gloss just to go downstairs for breakfast. It does not come off as sticky. You know how when you put on lip gloss, the lips kind of sticky. It did not read as that, so I'm excited about that. One last final spray. And that's my look for the day. I will be back though, because I'm going to put on a real lip after breakfast. And then we'll look at this outside in the light and see if it really does. You know, when I went outside, it looked a little different. So, I'll be back, y'all. All right, y'all. So actually like the gloss look with this today because it's just a and actually my shoes my shoes are clear as well so i think i'm gonna keep the gloss look but as we can see it blends so seamlessly in the car um my extensions are still doing well come on lashes let go all right let me get to drive <laughs> all right y'all so this has been get ready with me make sure that you give this video a thumbs up make sure that you smash 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 the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so that you are notified every time i upload dairy out